Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 4, Hands-On Science Experiment. And this one is number 76 in your Being Cleaved Guide, page 41, Lung Capacity. So this one could probably be just a tutor demonstration, um, unless you want to have your students take turns uh, trying it. Uh, but what you'll need is a gallon jug. You can either get like a milk jug or this is just one uh, a water jug. And you're gonna fill it all the way to the very, very top with water and it'll need a lid. You'll need some masking tape to put on one side and you'll need a marker. Um, you'll also need either some aquarium tubing or I didn't have aquarium tubing so I just constructed my own out of some bendy straws. Um, something that will go up inside the jug and that you can blow into. And then you'll need a, like a tub of water kind of filled halfway with water because you want to be able to turn your jug upside down and, and have the opening of the jug in the water and be able to take, take the cap off while it's still under the water. So for this one, we're going to talk about our lungs and our lung capacity. And Nicoleum has some, some great science scripts and there. You can find those on CC Connected in the Sandbox e-magazine. But she's got a good diagram of our, our lungs and what's going on in our lungs. So some questions we're gonna ask is, okay, what are lungs? Get the students to kind of interact and, and tell you, okay, what are our lungs? Where are our lungs? What bones, you know, we learned a lot about bones in our new grammar, what bones protect our lungs? We've got our ribs and our sternum and our vertebrae. And so how do we use our lungs? What are our lungs used for? How big are they? What happens when we breathe in and out? Um, why do we need to breathe? Why is that important for us? Um, why do we have to breathe in and out? Why can't we just take oxygen in? So when we're breathing in, we're, we're taking in oxygen. And why can't we just take in oxygen? Why do we have to breathe out? And what is it that we're breathing out? So just some things we're gonna talk about and explore a little bit more. All right, so I have my assistant today. Oh, and you'll need some extra water too if you plan on doing this a couple of times. So, I'm gonna bend this down so you can see. All right, so I'm going to turn this upside down into the water and I'm going to take it. So you'll probably have to have a parent help with this, um, but you're gonna take the cap off while it's underwater so no water escapes. Okay, and then we're gonna put this in. Do you hold the long one? So we're gonna do this a couple of times. So the first time we're gonna do it, so I'm gonna put that straw up inside. He's gonna just take a normal breath and he's gonna breathe out all the air in his lungs. So. And we're gonna observe what happens. Okay, so, and then we're gonna take a marker and mark where our water level is. So that's how far it went down with just a normal breath. All right, so we're gonna take this draw out. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna fill it all the way up to the very top with water and put the lid back on. Towels or paper towels would probably be good to have on here. Fill it all the way up. And then I'm gonna have him take a really big breath. And we're gonna see, so the kids can make a hypothesis. Is are we gonna have more water come out of the jug? How much more do they think? Um, can he get all of the water out of the jug? Possibly. We're gonna see. Okay, we're gonna put that straw back up in there. Okay, take a big breath. Biggest breath again. Whoa, okay. Nope, that was two breaths. Just one breath. So we'll say it was about there. So that was a big difference. And that's just demonstrating. All right, thank you for your help. All right, so that is a good demonstration of our lung capacity and how much our, our lungs can hold. And so, all right, thank you. All right, so 
there was a big difference. So the first time he did it, this much water came out. And the second time when he took a deep breath, that much water came out. And so um, our lungs are, are like sponges and they soak up the oxygen. So they're full of these alveoli. And so when we inhale, that oxygen through through the air around us is absorbed into these alveoli and it goes into our bloodstream and our, our blood cells, they take it all throughout our body and they give it to our cells. And those cells use that for energy to break down our food and create energy for ourselves. And there's waste in our cells that our cells need to get rid of and that's the carbon dioxide. So there's kind of a trade. So our blood brings the oxygen to the cells of our body and the cells of our body put the carbon dioxide in, back into our blood and they take it back to the lungs and when we exhale, that's the carbon dioxide that comes out. Um, so we have a diaphragm. We talked about different types of muscles. So we have this muscle underneath our lungs and when, it, it, um, when we inhale, that goes down and allows our lungs to expand and then it pushes back up to help us push the carbon dioxide out. So it ties in, we can tie in our bones and our muscles um, that we've learned. So because this is a, a tutor demonstration, our campus is going to be making these uh, model lungs as well. I'll let the students have a chance to do that. And so this is pretty uh, simple to do. So you'll need a water bottle for each student. Um, I tried, I had these water bottles, but they're kind of thin. And when I tried to put the balloon on the bottom, kind of collapsed the water bottle. So try to get maybe sturdier water bottles or soda bottles or like Gatorade bottles. Um, but you're gonna cut the bottom off of your bottle and then you're gonna take um, a balloon and you're gonna put it up inside and put it, put the opening around the opening of your bottle. balloon on the inside and then you're gonna take another balloon and you're gonna cut like the the top third off of your balloon and then you're gonna make a knot in this end And then you're gonna um, stretch this part over the bottom of your water bottle. And so it'll look like this. And I would recommend taping this balloon um, to the bottom of your water bottle so that it doesn't pop off. So the students can, can practice. Um, when you pull down, this is like our diaphragm, our muscle. So when that muscle goes down, our balloon expands and when it pushes up it it pushes the air out so you can kind of see it's expanding and contracting just like how our lungs work so that is it for cc cycle three week four hands-on science next year and have fun with this one i'll see you guys next time